We're back. This is the October edition of our Love Cape Ann Report. I'm Ken Real, CEO of the Cape Ann Chamber of Commerce. And with me today again is... Bruce Feldman of the Feldman Insurance Agency in Rockport, Mass., also the president of the chamber. And if, you, if I could take a minute to uh, do a shout-out for my uh, son, Ross. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Ross. Nice. Very good. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ross. Happy birthday, Ross. Yes, and I'm Carrie McKenna with the KPN Chamber of Commerce events. Terrific. Welcome back. Yes, what, a, what a summer it has been, and, and a September is <sighs> crazy busy. So let's take a quick look back at September, and then we'll jump into the fall in October, and mm. actually another crazy month, but uh, September was huge September for us. September flew by. It flew by Absolutely. with the, the ending of, of Schooner Fest and what jumping an amazing, right what into an amazing weekend. back to you know, school. And kind of the culmination of events here mm -hmm. on Cape Ann. It's so iconic. We had yeah, 30 schooners here this year. The weather was perfect. Yeah. The block was. party that we did Friday um, was great right after the mayor's reception. Mm -hmm at uh, Maritime Gloucester. What a, just a beautiful weekend, a, a beautiful way to end the summer. Yeah, and that week we kicked off the business women's group with had a, a rooftop mixer at the Beauport Hotel. Oh, yeah. And that was a lot of fun. And Lindsay Krauss came to meet some of the ladies. She will be our speaker at our fall luncheon in October. Terrific. So it was a lot of fun to have her there. And we, uh, we were limited to 40 people and we had 41, but don't tell, Ray. Don't tell Ray. It was great, it was a lot of fun. The mayor came and it was a beautiful night. It was just a lot of the fun. The views up there are so absolutely yeah. spectacular. Yeah. It was great. And then on um, that Tuesday, we had a seminar over at uh, the Endicott space at 33 Commercial. And it was on the Paid Family Medical Leave Act. Mm -hmm. And man, there is so much information on that. And uh, we had a standing room only crowd there. And I think a lot of good information was was sent out, passed around. You did a great yeah. job. I was at that, and I learned a lot from that. Yeah, yeah. it was really There's good. So much to know, it was, and yes. it's. I mean, it's here. It's happening. And it's it affects every single employed person. Yeah. So uh, yep. it was a very good uh, learning that was great. opportunity for our members and for others. Frankly, we didn't we didn't limit it yeah. to just our members. So we had Lori Labrie so presenting, and she did a great job. Then that night, we actually had our, our September business after hours was at the Gloucester stage. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. That was well attended, and we saw a great show. And September, the next day, we had a great gathering, which is something that we started with our auction mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. And we've done, um, th we did three last year. We'll be doing three this year. This was the second in the series of three. And the idea is to get community people together. Like you, you would sign up for this, but you don't necessarily know who else is going mm -hmm. to be there. And uh, this was an Arctic talk put on by John Wigglesworth. And he had the, the great honor to be on an Arctic exploration i don't i don't remember the name of the ship it began with sch but i don't, I don't think i could it pronounce either. it even if i remembered it but it was fascinating listening to him it really was um the most of the talk was on the 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 ocean and the mm -hmm. changing um of the temperatures and just it was quite interesting very informed passionate yeah about the he's topic. a great speaker yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so that was a lot of fun we did that with the wearing school and um it was a lot of fun and then we had a give back night at Jalapenos where they very generously give us 10% mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. on all sales they have for the day. And that goes with the, to the Business Women's Committee for the scholarship that we do each year, which, by the way, we did choose two winners for the Carolyn M. O'Connor Scholarship. Yes. Terrific. So and that's new this year that you're going mm -hmm. with two. We did two. Yep, 1,500. That's Wonderful. up from 1,250 that it's been mm -hmm. for the last 10 years, I yeah, think. That's awesome. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was very exciting. And the next Jenners, they had their end of summer beach party at Cape Ann Motor Lodge last week, and I understand that was a fabulous success. They had a lot of fun. You weren't there? I was yeah. not. Did you crash that party? party? Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the last gen, not the, <laughs> <laughs> not the next gen. That group is really gaining momentum, yeah, you know, doing and, great. and kudos to Caitlin on our mm -hmm. board. And, and Yeah, and uh, Chris Griffith Adam and, and, Chris yep, and Doug. Doug and Silva, and yeah, and Andrew Marks. There's yeah. um, Charlie Powers. They're really... Um, Liz Favaza, there's a, there's a great group of young people that are yeah. really steering that and doing a lot with so it. So important for our next generation to get together yeah. and to socialize and you know, do some business on the side. Yeah. You know, these guys really are helping each other each out. They are, and, and they are the, the next level of, of business leaders here on Cape Ann, and mm -hmm. I think they recognize that, and they're really grasping it. Uh, tonight, we have our cake event over at Cruiseport. Ooh, that's going to be the a big title: one. Local Food on Cape Ann: A Conversation for Fishers, Farmers, Eaters, and actually, we might have changed it. Did we? Did it change from from then? Um, entrepreneurs, I think we did. Entrepreneurs yeah. as well, mm -hmm. which actually is going to be pretty interesting. Um, there's a, there's a there's an app that a, uh, a young professional has developed out of Endicott, and we're going to talk a little bit about that as well to connect our. 
food producers with our consumers. And so that, that'll be interesting. But CAKE, just to talk mm -hmm. about that for a minute, is our Cape Ann Innovators Collaborative. And, and the idea is to get our innovators and entrepreneurs, of which everybody is an innovator and entrepreneur in our own way, but, but get kind of a different category of people together um, on Cape Ann and on, from the other side of the bridge, invite them here and really see what's going on mm -hmm. in Gloucester and around Cape Ann. And, um, and to have a, an informative and ideally an, an inspirational conversation. Yeah. And um, this one, as you said, is on local foods. And it's going to be terrific, kind of headed up uh, by Heather Atwood, who is a really well-known and, and um, highly respected local foods writer. And we brought in a college uh, professor in food entrepreneurship, um, Rachel Greenberger. And um, so it's going to be, a, I think, an excellent forum. Mm -hmm. And we have how many people? We have over 70. I think it's like 75, my yeah, last count. Yeah, this is going to be standing room only yeah. for sure. Oh, it absolutely we, is, yeah. considering well, well, we only have like 70 seats. Like for... <laughs> oh, yeah, standing room only. I'm getting there early. <laughs> it's going to be out the door. It's really going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking yes, forward to it. It is. And this is the sixth, is that right? Mm -hmm. the... Yep, our sixth forum. Yeah, it's yeah. been great. I think it's um, something that people have really um, become quite interested in because the topics are yeah. different than yeah. what we typically have here. Exactly, and yeah. That makes great. it exciting and fun. Yeah. So that's tonight at um, 5 o'clock at Cruise Port. And then smattered throughout the, the month were several ribbon cuttings, mm. which we've really started doing um, ribbon cuttings as a way to give exposure to new business here mm -hmm. um, on Cape Ann. Mm -hmm. And it's been great. You know, here in Gloucester, the mayor just has really bitten into this. And it's, it's wonderful for these new businesses to feel so welcome mm -hmm. by both the chamber mm -hmm. and the city. And we'll do it for anybody, not just members. If it's a new business, we will welcome you. And we would yeah, like to give you information on membership, membership and hope that you would join the chamber, yeah, but it's, it's not a requirement. Really shows mm -hmm. up also. Bruce. Mm -hmm. yep. and, mm -hmm. and often and um, yep. Dr. Representative Ferrante as well. And uh, and it's not just new businesses, but even um, businesses celebrating anniversaries. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll do that for members. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying, as a new business in town, you don't even have to be a member. We just want to welcome all business to, to Cape Ann. Mm -hmm. And it's just been a fun way to um, get some exposure for these new businesses. In fact, we've got... One coming up on Thursday with Starbucks is going to be opening up at um, Gloucester Crossing. So yeah. we'll be uh, shouting out to them on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. Yeah, be a lot of fun. Sure. So that, in a nutshell, is September. That's September. Okay. Mm -hmm. September. Not, not much going on, October. on in September. Right. Well, yeah, <laughs> October. October, even more. Um, we are starting out with division meetings, which I don't know if you want to... Yeah, so actually, so um, the Cape Ann Chamber uh, gets together with our communities uh, at least three times a year. And so this is our fall division meeting. We have um, Essex and Rockport are scheduled for the next two weeks. And then um, we're looking at doing Manchester and then Gloucester. And, um, and so it's a wonderful way for us to, to pull together the business community with our local elected leaders and our education leaders and public safety officials. And we talk about things going on in the community and how can the chamber and the business community um, help out with those priorities. So it's a unique opportunity and, and that kind of feeds into a higher level uh, a meeting that we have called our Cape Ann Caucus, mm -hmm. where we bring in also our state uh, representatives and then leaders from around the entirety of Cape Ann. And we talk about regionally what's happening here and how can we better work together to address again issues mm -hmm. and opportunities. And so that the Cape Ann caucus is coming up the end of October right. time frame. So 25th, these division yeah. meetings feed into that and be a focus on education, which mm -hmm. is going to be a great topic. So for the chamber, our first big event is October 3rd. It's the first of um, one of our signature events, which is the $25,000 Ooh. game. Yes, and October I, see, I see you have your tickets right I, there. I do have some tickets. In fact, I think these might be winning <laughs> tickets, Bruce. Really? Interesting. <laughs> I thought I had them. So let me do the, let me do the spiel on this. Mm -hmm, Only 500 tickets available. $100 each. Uh, the ticket admits actually two to our event, the Gloucester House, on October 3rd. And uh, there's a light buffet dinner served. And, um, and we literally give away $25,000 on that night. $10,000 top prize, 5,000, several 1,000 prizes, and several 500 prizes. 12 different opportunities to win something, plus wow. raffle prizes mm -hmm. and door prizes. and A 50-50 raffle that's been, the, the take home has been over $1,000 last couple yeah, of years. Yeah, exactly. That's the nice. split, yeah. which yeah. is incredible. I yeah. won $1,000 myself, and the people have won $10,000. Somebody won twenty five hundred. So, so we, are only, winners. we only have a few tickets left, yes. actually. Yeah. So you should contact the 
chamber, two eight three sixteen zero one. I still have my, ask, t- I still have my tickets. Already, ask so. for Ken. Bruce doesn't have any left. <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, it's always a fun night, and mm-hmm. as as you both know, standing room only, mm-hmm. literally, yes. literally yes. and it is a fun crowd. It, it is. is a, it is a fun, lively crowd. So it's that, coming up fast. It's next, next Thursday. Next Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Looking yeah. forward to it. And then uh, the following Thursday, October 10th, is the Business Women's Luncheon, and that's at the Beauport Hotel. Yeah. It starts, uh, registration is 1130, program starts at 12. And again, that's Lindsay Krauss, who's a, a local yeah. um, woman who made it in Hollywood. And actually, her dad wrote The Sound of Music, was one of the writers of The Sound really? of Music here in Ian's Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's interesting. And then she's been in many, many TV shows. and um, Recently starring at Gloucester Stage. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Life. Yep. Time of a lifespan. lifespan of a fact. Yes, good lifespan of a fact. on you. Yes, yes. So she will be our speaker that day, and um, we still have tickets available. You can call the chamber office. Um, we have our online auction. We'll be up and running on October 11th. Yeah. And there's all sorts of great items Wonderful there. Items, accommod- local great accommodations. Mm-hmm. Some there's trips. um, there's games. You can start your Christmas shopping early mm. <laughs> and support the chamber at the same time. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, actually, a lot of nice little treasures this year. Then October 6th, um, back up a little bit. So October 6th to the 14th is Plein Air Week yeah. here on Cape Huge Ann. Huge event. Third or fourth? Fourth, fourth, fourth actually. Fourth mm-hmm. so, yep. um, so it's not a Cape Ann Chamber event, but um, I'm on the board at the Chamber Help to uh, to create the event. And um, you know, just really proud of it, mm-hmm. frankly, to be involved with it. And um, it's in support of our whole creative economy. And so we'll have 40 um, artists uh, juried in from around the country, including several local artists that will be competing formally for upwards of $20,000 mm-hmm. in prizes. And um, the gala art sale is on October 12th. October 12th. And that will be at North Shore Art mm-hmm. again, which is just an incredible venue. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, it's this is a year-long planning effort. So we, we start two weeks after the event with a wrap-up meeting and uh, two weeks later we're into planning the mm-hmm. next year mm-hmm. and um, at this point we meet two um two or three times a month almost every week mm-hmm. getting ready for the big event yeah, yeah. so it's, it's going to be terrific it's terrific great, looking great forward thing. to it yeah and on october 15th tourism wrap-up at gloucester stage yeah another one of our uh, mission priorities is to um is our we talk about the creative economy um we also have the visitor-based economy mm-hmm. uh, which has become um very, very important here on Cape Ann and in all four of our Cape Ann com- uh, communities. And so we have a tourism council that governs that work. And um, twice a year we'll, we'll invite our membership in and we'll talk about kind of getting ready for the, the summer visitor season. Uh, more and more we're, we're really marketing Cape Ann as a year-round visitor destination. Mm-hmm. But of course still the summer season is really the high point um, for a lot of our visitors. And then we do a a summer wrap-up in the fall, and that's what's coming up nice. on October 15th, which is the day after Columbus Day. Mm-hmm. And that will also be at Gloucester Stage. Mm-hmm. And then the next night, if you're young, you can go to the Next yeah. Gen <laughs> Mixer. They're doing it at Gloucester Stage as well. Uh-huh. Gloucester yeah. Stage. What so is going for, on? Chris for this Griffin. One, yeah, he's, he's on fire over there. Yeah. Um, this is going to be similar to what we had done with the Business After Hours. You can stay for the show at a discounted price. And the show that's um, going to be playing is called Native Gardens. And um, the write-up on it sounds great. It's yeah. a, a bit of a comedy, yeah. and I think it's going to be fabulous. I'm going to sneak myself in on that one. Okay. Yes. Very cool. Yes, By yes. the way, shout out to um, a leader of that Next Gen group, Caitlin Pizzeni, mm-hmm. who has been um, approved, voted up into our executive committee. Mm-hmm. And so Caitlin uh, will be president of the chamber in 2022, mm-hmm. which just happens to be... 100 year anniversary. 100th year. 100 it's years. Very cool. Yeah, it's very pretty cool. amazing. It One of the oldest amazing. chambers in the Commonwealth. And um, we're very excited to have Caitlin be president yes. that year. Yeah. So, absolutely. It is. Looking it's very forward exciting. to that. Looking forward to working with her. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. All good. And we're working on pulling together um, another one of our seminars in our series. Um, this is going to be information on the Health Connector. Mm. So, we're hoping to hold that on October 17th and more information on that one to follow. And then, Harvest Fest is October 19th. And, uh, and a big, Rockport. big mm-hmm. Rockport event. Yep. Big yeah. Rockport event. Yeah, that's kind yep. of the fall highlight. Yes. It should be a lot of fun there. Our October Business After Hours is going to be for Pathways for Children, which should be great. Give them some exposure. Mm-hmm. They do wonderful, wonderful sure do. things over there. And um, just to give a shout-out to the Open Door, their annual breakfast is on October 24th. 
and the Cape Ann caucuses, you already mentioned, October 25th. And then, of course, on October 26th, Saturday, it's the 37th annual Clam Fest in Essex. Whew, can't wait. Our right, last Park. big one. That's, that's right. a, <laughs> judge. I've been wanting to be a judge for, I don't know how many years now, but I, f- I finally get to be a judge <laughs> after five years. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun, right? Yep. It will be that's, fun. That's, that's, be a nice day. You've been talking about that all year long, yes, right? Absolutely. We have nine very strong competitors this nice. year. Yeah. That I think it's, it's going to be great. Um, and that's an all, pretty much all day, 11 to 4. Yeah. And the chowder tasting contest goes from noon to 2. Yeah. And, um, and we'll, we'll see a couple thousand them. people in mm-hmm. Essex on a nice day. You know, we had over 1,200 people we know um, actually participate in the chowder competition. And a whole bunch of people who didn't participate who just really enjoy just being there. Mm-hmm. And all the vendors that we have there and the food. Mm-hmm. And I think Ipswich Hale, they're going to come back yep. this year. Ipswich Hale will be there with yeah. their truck. Yeah, yep. fantastic. Absolutely. And then some music. Yeah. We're going to have uh, Muddy Waters. Muddy Water? Um, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not Muddy Waters. Is it? Is that what he calls it? Uh, mm. Is it Muddy Water? Wattas. <laughs> Wattas. It's Wattas. the former, it's um, Pete Silva, the former police chief. Right, right. Oh, darn, I can't think of his name. Of the we'll name have to of the get band. it. Yeah. We'll it's not getting that plug right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're trying. He'll be there. No plug. He'll be there, and they are good and entertaining. Yes, so that's um, October 26th, rain date of October 27th. Okay, and real quick, at the end of the month, October 28th and 29th at Gloucester Stage, we're going to be holding candidate forums. Um, oh, on the yeah. 28th, Monday mm-hmm. night, will be the school committee. There's yeah. seven candidates for Gloucester School Committee. Yeah. And um, starting at 6 o'clock, we'll be doing a kind of not really a Q&A, more of a discussion. Yeah. And then on Tuesday night, the 29th, we will have Ward 2. There's two people mm-hmm. vying for one spot. Um, and th- that starts at 5.30, and then at 6 o'clock we'll have the at-large where there's another seven candidates. Is there um, any day in October yeah. that we're not doing yeah, something? Not too much. In October's busy, pretty busy. busy. That is incredibly yeah. busy. Yeah, it's amazing. I'd like and to just uh, um, shout out, I guess, as far as tomorrow for Barb. Oh, tomorrow. yeah, right. The, uh, Thanks, thank you and goodbye. Yeah. yeah. She's retiring. So Barb's our membership director. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. director. And, and been with us over three years. Yeah, so thanks, Bruce. That's really good Yeah, I look forward mention. to seeing her. No retirement, I guess, right? Just call it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yep. And great. she'll she's be around. Awesome. Yeah, she's been great. Yep. And so she'll she'll come back in. I'm sure we'll see her at some of our events as well. But she's done such a tremendous job. So indeed, thank you, Barb. Yes, thank you, Barb. Good job. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, thanks, guys. We thank will you. see you yeah. again next month and after a very busy mm-hmm. October. Indeed. <laughs>